The Philippines Railway Network is currently undergoing rebirth after decades of neglect and underspending. That has left it in a crumbling state. From the peak of more than 1,100 root kilometer prior to the Second World War II. On 2016, the country had just 77 root kilometer of operational commuter line, light rail, and metro line left. Serving the Metro Manila conurbation, and its 12.8 million residents, spread over 638 square kilometers. The lack of rail infrastructure, has increased pressure on road transport. Which carries about 98% of passenger traffic, and 55% of freight movements in the Philippines. Unsurprisingly, road congestion particularly, in, and, around Metro Manila resulted in an estimated economic loss of at least $53.6 million per day, or around $18 billion per annum in 2014, according to the government's medium-term Philippine Development Plan. Without access to safe and efficient public transport, the delivery of goods and services will be curtailed, and this exacerbates the uneven growth in urban and rural areas. With this in mind, the Philippine government built the North-South Commuter Railway in Greater Manila. The country's largest ever individual infrastructure investment, costing $15 billion. NSCR, is envisioned as a 163-kilometer sub-urban railway network. Connecting, the regional business districts in Clark and New Clark City in the north. Passing through central Manila to Calamba City in Laguna Province, south of capital. The NSCR corridor, will provide interchange with all of the existing Metro Manila Rail Line, through the connection of MRT Line 9 of Metro Manila Subway. NSCR construction has been divided into three segments. From the north, the Malolos-Clark Railway projects, which will see developments of a 53-kilometer north of the capital. Broadly following the century-old legacy railway, abandoned for several decades. This project covers the section from Malolos, a suburb north of Manila, to Clark and Clark International Airport in Pampanga Province. NSCR projects include the 18-kilometer northern extension, from Clark to New Clark City. Funded by Asian Development Bank costing $2.7 billion. The inner part of the NSCR package covers the 38-kilometer central core, linking Totoban in Manila to Malolos City. This project was funded by Japan International Cooperation Agency. The southern section would be the 55-kilometer southern corridor connecting Blumentritt in Manila to Calamba City. This phase is worth up to 4.3 billion US dollar, funded by Asian Development Bank. A notable feature of NSCR will be the first airport rail shuttle in the Philippines. This airport express service will reduce the journey time between Clark International Airport in Pampanga and Makati City, the main business district in the capital, to less than an hour, compared to at least two hours by car at present. Alongside the airport shuttle, two other express service levels will be provided, the commuter services trains along all NSCR stations. And a semi-fast service train, calling at selected stations with higher passenger demand. NSCR's technical parameter envisage a maximum operating speed of 120 km per hour for the commuter trains, while 160 km per hour for the airport express and semi-fast services trains. The double track line will be built to 1,435 mm gauge, following the international standard, which are mostly elevated on prefabricated segmental span viaduct, except for a tunnel to reach the underground station at Clark International Airport. This will give the railway, a direct access to the recently completed passenger terminal at Clark, as well as the planned future terminals. In central Manila, a 4 km underground connecting cord, is being planned to link NSCR to the emerging Line 9 of Metro Manila subway, this would diverse from the main line at FTI station near Ninoy Aquino International Airport. The link, will allow the operation through underground tracks from NSCR station to Metro Manila subway. The line is to be electrified at 1.5 kV DC using an overhead supply, and ETCS Level 2 train control equipments. 
Rolling Stocks is provided by Sumitomo Corporation and JR East subsidiary, JTREK, which supply 138 Sestina MU's car to operate the initial NSCR service. Procurement of eight airport trains and a further 38 commuter train set is ongoing. These are being funded by Japan International Cooperation Agency. Phase 1 of NSCR Project The 38-kilometer center core line of the NSCR with 10 stations, starting from the city of Malolos, passing through the northernmost cities of Manila, to Totoban Station. NSCR Phase 1 construction began in 2019. As of mid this year the project is at 50% overall completion rate. The first train set of the rolling stock contract of the NSCR Phase 1, Totoban Malolos will now undertake a series of factory acceptance testing. Manufactured by Japan Transport Company and Sumitomo Corporation joint venture, the factory acceptance tests will help verify that the newly manufactured train set meets its intended purpose and its compliance on the various international standards, such as ISO and JIS. Factory acceptance testing shall also ensure that the rolling stocks equipment are correctly and fully functioning prior to shipment of the trains. The testing are currently conducted in Japan Transport Engineering Company's test tracks and facilities in Yokohama, Japan. The train set is scheduled to depart at Yokohama Port on October 2021 and will arrive at NSCR Depot on the first week of December 2021. Once completed, the train service is expected to serve 300,000 passengers every day and will reduce travel time between Malolo City and Totoba from 1 hour and 30 minutes to only 35 minutes. Trains are expected to start operating in Malolos Clark Railway in 2022, with the entire NSCR planned for completion by 2028. Undergoing works for NSCR are now in full speed amid the pandemic under strict health protocols, provided much-needed jobs and fueling the economic activity. Phase 2 of NSCR Project This 53-kilometer section will cover the northern part of the projects from Malolo City to Clark International Airport and New Clark City. It will have seven stations. The PNR Clark Phase 2, which now has a 32% overall progress rate, will reduce travel time between Malolo City and Clark from almost two hours to just 35 minutes. It also features the country's first-ever airport railway express service, which will connect Makati to Clark International Airport in just 55 minutes, from the current 2 to 3 hours. The Department of Transportation unveiled the design renders for PNR Clark Phase 2, Malolos to Clark, of the North-South Commuter Railway. On September 18, the Department of Transportation, together with the provincial government official of Pampanga and representatives of Japan International Cooperation Agency and Asian Development Bank, ground breaks the construction of the underground rail station in front of the Clark International Airport Terminal 2. This will provide direct access to the airport, without disrupting its ground-level traffics. Trains are expected to start its operation in 2024, which will serve 250,000 daily passengers. Phase 3 of NSCR project. It will take the final line, forming the southern corridor of the NSCR project, connecting Blumentritt in Manila, to Calamba City in Laguna. This 55-kilometer line will have 20 stations. The seven packages of the project were offered, with an estimated cost of $4.7 billion. While the Philippine National Railway received a record of 34 bids to undertake the civil works, from 17 international bidders, and 6 bidders from local companies. The current PNR Totoban Calamba line will upgrade it from ground level into an elevated track. Actual civil works is expected next year. Upon completion, the line will serve 450,000 daily passengers. This rail system will speed up the travel time between Manila and Calamba from 3 hours to just 60 minutes. Three maintenance depots are envisaged along the route. 
located at Clark in Pampanga Province, Valenzuela City in central Manila, and at Calamba City in the province of Laguna. Once fully operational, the NSCR corridor is expected to carry up to 1 million passengers per day.